I'm guessing only three like the archers, right? Oh, wait a second. I might just be able to get four in. Yes, I've done it. Four skeletons, three archers, and one monster. All right, here we go. Start the battle. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Now, I'm a little late to the party here because, uh, well, an update came out and I was in Poland. But check it out, Goru has eyes. But not only that, he also got some new skins. So check this out. This is pretty terrifying. So it looks like he's been in battle, maybe. It looks like he's covered in blood or something. I actually really like the look of this one. So I might use him just a little bit later. And then finally, we have this Goru, which uh, he looks silver. Quite an interesting skin. But that's not all. We also got dinosaur skeleton parts. So Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and it's a pretty cool dinosaur too. Look at those shades. So yeah, I was just kind of messing around with some of the new skeleton parts. There are actually a few more pieces to what we've got here. But this is definitely going to be helpful in creating different units. But anyway, this one's kind of stupid. So I say we actually design a new one from scratch. But maybe just before we do that, we should see this one in action. Whoa, he's picked up Goru. He's going by the head. Look at that. <laughs> so that's a Brachiosaurus head, I believe. Uh, and then Triceratops head on the knees for some reason. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very, very strange. Um, but it looks like Goru's doing pretty well here. Let's see who's actually winning this fight. Oh, Goru's winning, even though this creation has loads of heads. Oh. <laughs> Such a weird fight. Whoa, look all the bones. The pieces just go everywhere. That is so cool. So let's go ahead and actually build a strong unit using some of the new dinosaur parts. So this right here is a T-Rex base, I believe. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and change the stats. You know what? HP multiplier, let's go 10. Attack multiplier, 15. So this is going to be quite a strong unit. Oh, and also, why don't we scale it up to 1.2? And then we're going to put the HP multiplier back to 1 and the attack multiplier back to one as well. So I guess it's going to be mainly a T-Rex base that we're going to be using. And then we're going to add armor, make it look really cool and hopefully take out a bunch of other units and hopefully win all of them. Okay, so here we go. Moving on to this part right here. Uh, let's see, what direction do we want it to go? Maybe like this? Okay, so far so good. Now we head over to Carnivore Dinosaurs, get the T-Rex skeleton head and place it right there. Oh, Yes. Is it me or does the head look massive? Eh, you know what? We'll keep it anyway. Right, finally, we need to add the tail for the base. Okay, which which one's a T-Rex tail? Is it this one or is it this one? Well, it doesn't really matter too much because this is our own creation, but this looks pretty cool. So this tail seems to kind of drag down on the floor a little bit. So the main difference is, uh, well, this one just seems less flexible, I guess. Now, there is a slight issue with this creation here. Now, of course, like I keep saying, we're not making an actual T-Rex. We're just using it as the base. But uh, there's no actual arms for a skeleton. Uh, well, obviously, we have these ones. But these are more like human arms. So it's kind of weird looking. So what we could do is maybe add a tentacle. It doesn't all have to be based off a skeleton, I guess. Although that looks nope. a little weird. We could also use the bone spikes. That's a possibility. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that one either. <laughs> we'll come back to the arm situation. Maybe I'll just leave it as nothing. So let's move on to the armor. Let's go ahead, scale this up. There we go. Now I'm also adding some spikes to the armor on the leg here. I I think that should look pretty good. Now, this next part that I'm adding might be a terrible idea, but I'm adding a platform for archers to ride this thing. And uh, yeah, I have no idea if it's going to work or not, but let's go ahead, build the fence around so that they don't fall off and die. All right, here we go. A lot of the times when I've done this in this game, it hasn't exactly worked out. So uh, hopefully we'll be all right this time. So before I continue, it's probably a good idea for us to do a little test run. So I've got here a hill giant and uh, let's just go ahead, play some archers on here and hopefully it should work. Maybe set them to guard mode as well. That way they won't just walk around. Okay, and let's see if this works. Fire! Oh, one fell out. Oh yes, one of them stayed in though. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> anyway, we might as well watch the fight. Hill giant doesn't stand a chance. But hey, at least we managed to get one arrow into the hill giant. <laughs> I mean, they are both dead now, though. So maybe we just need to make some improvements to the platform they stand on. Although, uh, as you can see, we, we probably put it in the worst spot because 
there's a lot of movement going on. Oh, man. The only issue is if we put them here, well, they might not be able to land many shots. Oh, and the hill giant is dead. Nice. So, yeah, this platform right here is not really any good. But this platform, on the other hand, should work great. So start the battle. Fire the arrows. Oh, they missed both shots. Great. Okay. Uh, well, they're just shooting into the back of the skeleton now, which um isn't great. But look, they're still on the platform. It's way more sturdy having them there than on that one right there. So yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, no. One's falling out. Oh, down they both go. But that is a lot better. So maybe just make a few adjustments here and there. And uh, yeah, it should work pretty well. It looks kind of ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. As long as they can get some shots on the enemies before the skeleton T-Rex thing gets there, it should give us a little bit of an advantage. Well, this creation is getting a little bit crazy now, as you can see, but I'm still adding more armor, making it stronger and stronger with every little thing that I add. So here we go. Now, in this platform, I am actually going to keep, which uh, I know isn't probably the best idea, but hear me out. What if we had some skeletons in here? We just increased Increase the health a little bit of them. And then that way, when they fall out, they can attack the enemy. Now, I've also added this here. I I'm not sure if this is actually going to help out or not, but uh, it will be interesting to see what happens there. But anyway, let's continue adding some armor, spikes, and all that good stuff. Oh, and uh, I also forgot to mention, there is now a skull underneath right here with some horns. So uh, that could inflict some extra damage to the enemy. Now, I probably should have done more tests with this guy, but we're about to see him in action for real. So we have three archers up here and they are going up against Goru. But this Goru is not only scaled up, but his stats have also been changed. So it should be a little bit more of a challenge. But we're not quite ready yet because I want to add some skeletons to this part right here. So let's go to Infernals, Skeleton Warrior, HP Multiplier. We'll just set that to three just because they're going to fall off and probably hurt themselves quite badly. Let's see. How many can we actually fit in here? I'm guessing only three like the archers, right? Oh, wait a second. I might just be able to get four in. Yes, I've done it. Four skeletons, three archers, and one monster. All right, here we go. Start the battle. Let's see. The archers are still in, which is good. Skeletons, if they fall out, it's not a problem. That's kind of what we want them to do. Oh, no. Oh, there goes one archer. Yes. The archers are working pretty well. Because Goru is scaled up, they can actually land really good shots on his head, as you can see. Um, skeletons? Well, this skeleton's got a bunch of arrows in him, so that's not good because that means friendly fire from these guys. Yeah, probably a uh, bad design on my end. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I don't think friendly fire really matters too much on this game. Hopefully not anyway. What's uh, what's Goru doing? Um, He doesn't seem to be attacking. I think we might have broke him. I like how the skeleton down here is just attacking his feet. <laughs> oh, he's, he fell over and died. Oh, no, he's fine. Yes, go skeleton. And look at the archers. This guy's just gone through the fence there. They are still landing shots though, which is good in the arm. Oh, no, Goru's got back up. And now he is fighting. He is mad. He is so angry. I mean, I'm not surprise. He's got like a bunch of needles in his head. Look at that. Come on, you skeleton beast. Win this fight. Oh, look at that right in the middle of his head. Surely he doesn't stand a chance against all these guys, right? Oh, big headbutt. But then, oh, hang on a minute. Look, the skeleton, the skull is using the claws or the fawns on his head. That's that's good. <laughs> good to see. But yeah, surely he can't stand much more, right? This is a very difficult battle though. Go on. Yes, T-Rex skeleton. Bite his head off. That's it. So far, so good. Looks like we're doing some serious damage right now. Oh, no, Archer. Don't fall off. No, don't grab him. Keep firing. Fire his head. Oh, well, there goes that guy. That's one Archer. Oh, did we do it? Yes. Guru is down. And our health isn't too bad either. Now, this next fight, we are definitely going to lose because we're going up against Skeleton Godzilla. Check this guy out. So I downloaded this from the workshop. He looks pretty powerful. And yeah, we are definitely screwed. But let's start the battle anyway. Here we go. Skeleton Godzilla versus my creation. Oh man, that was a very, very quick fight. I didn't realize he had a plasma beam in his mouth. No, my creation. <laughs> Everyone's dead. And once again, we don't stand a chance because now we're going up against Bone Ghidorah. <laughs> so check this guy out. This one 
has three plasma rifles uh, in the mouths, as you can see. So yeah, we're pretty screwed. This is also from the workshop. So let's go ahead, start the battle and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, we have one archer left and he's, he's dead. <gasps> Wait, what if we make Bone Ghidorah fight Bone Godzilla? Then I wonder who would win. All right, so my creation here, I like it and everything, but it's time to say goodbye. But just before we do, we need to name it. So leave your best name suggestions in the comment section down below along with your suggestions. But let's remove and get Godzilla. <laughs> this archer won't go. Oh, he's, he's dead. This right here should be a pretty epic battle. I genuinely have no idea who's going to win, but let's start it anyway, shall we? Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> Ghidorah has won. What? Right, let's go in, check the stats. So HP multiplier 100, attack multiplier 200. Oh, HP multiplier 1000, attack multiplier 800. So uh, yeah, pretty big difference there. No wonder this guy won. So of course, we have to try regular old Godzilla. And can I also just say, look at the size difference between these guys. But let's see who wins. I'm guessing the skeleton version is going to win because of the stats, but we need to find out don't we? So here we go. Come on, normal Godzilla. I actually want you to win. No, he's been defeated. Of course he has. How much damage did we do? Oh, about halfway. So good effort, but we still lost. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm sending in an army of skeleton T-Rexes to take down a skeleton Godzilla. Here we go. They're all gonna die, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, what are they gonna do? They're weak in comparison. They're just gonna nibble his legs. Pathetic. Wow, is that it? <laughs> They're all dead already. All right, this Godzilla is way too powerful. It's time to remove him. So instead, let's go for the normal T-Rex here. Well, skeleton version against Goru. This is the third skin, which I haven't actually seen in action yet. He makes a different sound. Maybe he is really made out of silver. Listen to that. Whoa, I never knew about that. So he's like chrome or silver made out of metal. Whoa, that is awesome. I wonder if he has a little bit more health because of that. I really have no idea. But either way, he is winning the fight right now. The skeleton T-Rex is losing. Oh, <laughs> whoa, big headbutt. But the T-Rex countered by biting his head. That's it, body slam. Whoa, T-Rex head went straight into my camera. Goru is victorious. Uh, oh, that's not a pretty sight. So this next fight should be pretty epic because we have all the Goru skins here going up against all of the dinosaur skeletons. So we have the Brachiosaurus, the Triceratops, and the T-Rex. Now, these guys actually stand a decent chance of winning because some of the stats have been altered a little bit, but the Gorus are all at their default values, and there can only be one winner. Start the battle! Gorus versus skeleton dinosaurs. Here we go! Triceratops going in first. Brachiosaurus doing some crazy stuff with its neck, as it always is. The T-Rex here should be doing the most damage. Whoa, Brachiosaurus. Oh, no. Triceratops has exploded. He is dead. Oh, it's all up to the Brachiosaurus now. Oh, and the Gorus have won. Whoa, what is going on there? Well, that's weird. But yeah, I guess <laughs> they really didn't stand a chance against these guys. They barely did any damage as well. Man, Goro is so powerful. Look at these guys. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!